Hello everyone, let's find out how to use Gardener. Let's go to Edit, Preferences, and click on Add-ons, then Install. Load the zip file, activate it, and save the preferences. You will now find Gardener in the N key menu. Now let's add our first biome. Let's select the object emitter. Make the necessary changes to create a hedge and don't forget to apply the transformation. Control A, all transforms. The first trick is to add a bevel on your corners. Control B, to give a more realistic look. You can also add a slight displace to make the surface random, again to have a more realistic hedge. Now we can select our biome and import it by clicking on the load button. The different layers that make up the biome are loaded one by one. Now let's switch to render mode to see the result. The rendering is really cool. Let's analyze how a biome is made. You will find several layers. The first one is the branches inside the tree. For each layer, you can change the parameters and customize them. Density, randomization, scale, random scale, rotation on Y, rotation on Z, and various other parameters. On the second layer are the leaves. Another interesting parameter is the offset. It allows to push the asset along the normal. Random allows you to do the same thing, but randomly. Great for making leaves that stick out of the bush. The Make Holes button makes holes in the bush to make it even more realistic. You can choose the intensity, but also the size of the holes and randomize them. Depending on the biome, you will find other layers. For example, the third layer, long, is the leaves that are sticking out of the bush. The last layer, flower, allows you to control the distribution of the flowers. Let's focus on the first two layers. At the bottom, you can see the Select Asset button, which allows you to display the assets that make up the layer so it becomes easy to customize the materials. You can change the season, but also color variations that we will see now. The slider randomize color leaf allows you to add color shades in the leaves. The slider variation color clear allows you to add light spots in the bush. You can adjust the size and the color. The slider variation color dark allows you to add dark spots. The last slider, Cut Leaf, allows you to cut the leaves. You can make the branches stick out and give a trimmed hedge look. Now let's discover other options at the bottom of the add-on. The first button allows to hide or show the transmitter in the viewport. The second one allows the same functionality, but during the rendering. And the third one allows to display the object mode wire in the viewport. At the bottom, the Trunk tab gives you access to a large library of trunks that you can integrate into your creations. Select one and let's add it to our scene. Let's adjust its size and position it correctly. It becomes very easy to create a shrub, hedge or bush with Gartner. If black spots appear during the rendering, it is because you don't have enough bounce in the transparency. Go to Light Paths and increase the value. If you see a white background, it means that your transmitter is still visible. Don't forget to turn it off. Creating a plant is quick and easy. Gartner is also available for Scatter 5. Open the add-on, go to Enter Manager, then Preferences, and click on Install a Scatter Package. Select the Scat Pack file to install it. You can now use the biomes in Scatter by going to the Biomes Library tab. Enjoy!